Hey guys, Strike is the name, and I'm doing well. I think this is my second or third unboxing video. Uh, in this in this unboxing, I'm gonna be doing some Pokemon packs, Pokemon card packs. Some of these ones are the Crimson Sun Moon Crimson Invasion, and some of them are the. Sun, Moon, Burning, Burning Shadows. Um, I had already opened one of these packs. I had six in total. Uh, I was recording part of it with my friends, Blake, who won't let me use, well, not use, but advertise his channel on my channel. I'm just trying to help the guy out. But... To each their own. If they want to work with themselves, so be it. And then another friend who I've mentioned several times in my videos, uh, Pylord. He was <laughs> he was being a dork. <laughs> no offense, Pylord. <laughs> oh, Connor should have been there. <laughs> but. Uh, that was, it was a little hard to, it, little, it was a little bit, uh, I was, I was trying to upload it, but it wouldn't upload for some reason, so I had to delete that one off my phone, start a new one, so, I already opened one at the bowling alley where I got all these cards with my 3,300 something tickets, <laughs> like the, there was a huge box with like <clears throat> different coins, and that one was like double of what I had. I know I could have saved up, but <laughs> stupid me doesn't think of that stuff like that. <clears throat> Anyways, <clears throat> sorry guys. Uh, in that in that pack, I got a. Porygon 2. A Metapod. A Trainer Card Lana. The uh, Water Trial Captain. Of Alola. I want to get Ultra Moon real bad. Just so I can try out that new adventure. Hopefully they introduce gyms in, in Alola. Along with the trials. I don't know. It would, it would, it would actually be a pretty good concept. Uh, a Dark Energy. Which Blake says are actually kind of rare. I, I, I barely have any actually. I barely have any Dark Energies. And I have quite a few Dark Pokemon like Zorua and... I think, wasn't there like one card that was like a dark type Zubat? I mean, I also had like a an electric type Metagross. Although it was like a dual type card, it was electric and steel. And it had two weaknesses. Uh, anyway, Araquanid. Oddish. Mudbray. <clears throat> we got a holographic Curlia. It's a little hard to see the text, but yeah. It's probably just because it was holographic. Now, Blake thought that Curlia was always a grass type, but no, she's, all, well, they've always been uh, psychic type since Gen 3 and since Gen 6, also dual type fairy. We got a sock. And I told Pylord and uh, Blake about the joke I made walking home from school playing Black, Pokemon Black version. <clears throat> 
Don't hate me just because I play the Unova games. It's not that bad. If anything, the Sinnoh games are kind of bad because the damn EXP... Um, it's very slow to level up your Pokemon. In my Platinum, I'm already at Spirit Pillar and my Pokemon are already in the mid-30s. And that's not strong enough to take on Garatina. Do I go tomorrow? Oh yeah, I was telling the story about my socks. Um, so I had two socks and Devin asks me, Why do you have two socks? And then I say, Hey, everyone needs a pair of socks. When I tell Blake that he goes like, Boy, just no. And then the last card out of that pack was a Wimpod. And now, time for the actual unboxings instead of the promos. Uh, trying to get the angle right. Um, I think. How many? Oh, okay, I have more Burning Shadows than I do Crimson Invasion, so I'll do the Crimson Invasion first. So, the first one I'm going to open up is the Buzzwool Burning in. Nope. Crimson Invasion. I almost said Burning Invasion. If I can get underneath the damn thing. Okay, oh, this looks promising. That one actually looks kind of sinister. <laughs> I was. Then Pylord also was making the joke of, of these. Just. Best cards in the game. Can I have them? I mean, I, I guess I'll save these for him. Makes sense to him. So, I guess he goes on the Pokemon website. I, I don't know. So we got in this pack a Mistrevis. Mistrevis, Mistrevis, whatever we want to pronounce it. Wow, these ones are really dark. It's probably the damn lighting. I mean, I guess there's only the sunlight that's hitting it. In this room, I'll uh, pro probably for the dark ones, I'll probably do a close up. Hopefully, it'll show better. Okay, then we got Shelmet. Swablu. Swinub. An ice type Pokemon. I still think that uh like there should be more uh type attributes in Pokemon cards because they did it for fairy, they did it for dragon. Originally, Dragon was the normal type. It was normally the normal type. <laughs> hey, look, speaking of fairy types, we got a Jigglypuff. <laughs> Jigglypuff, Jigglypuff, Jigglypuff. Oh, it sucks that, uh, <laughs> that Sing isn't on that card. But I just realized it has two of its Smash Bros. movies. It has Rollout and Double Slap. If you see Double Slap isn't in Smash Bros, it's the standard jab. That's Double Slap. Ooh, a holographic Numel. Fire type. First fire type out of this. It's a uh, boxing. Continuous headbutt. So I, I guess it's like a flip a coin. Until you get tails. Ooh. No one just go continuous. <laughs> no, it's kind of messy, and you just get no, no heads. With my luck, I probably that probably would happen to me. Ooh, we got an Altaria. I would love it if I get an EX, but that's rare with these single packs. I remember Devin had a shiny Raikou, Raikou, whatever, Pokemon card. We have a. Psychic energy, or psychic, poison, ghost. I always call this psychic, because, you know, the eye. 
We got a fighting memory. It's for oh, it's for the Sil Valley GX. The Sil Valley GX. This card is attached. Oh, the Sil Valley GX. This card is attached to is a fighting type Pokemon. That's pretty neat. Hey, that's a pretty. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good. Okay, so we got a counter energy. What's the special energy card? Uh, this card is a normal provides a normal energy. If you have more prize cards remaining on remaining more prize cards remaining than your opponent, this card is attached to a Pokemon that isn't a Pokemon GX or EX. This card provides every type of energy, but provides only two energies at a time. So this one can do two if you have more. Um, oh, I didn't even get to show that. <laughs> You can hit those guys for two energies if you have more prize cards than your opponent. Alright, and the last card out of that pack is an Excel Gore. Did I say it right? Excel Gore? Whatever. <laughs> yep, there's those cards. Don't want these to. Slide off the thing. My mattress. My mattress is like the most comfortable place in my room. Everything else is like, like either a hard desk, a rickety old chair, or the floor. Um, where did I put the other trash? Oh, I just put it right here. Whatever. Uh, again, another one of those cards, saving that for Pylord. <laughs> like a little gift for him. Why does it feel like there's, there's a lot more cards than there, than there usually is? Huh. 11, actually, not 10 or not, not 9 or 10. Maybe I'm thinking Yu Gi Oh! That's the 9 cards. So, in this pack, the first card is a Chimeco. Again, it's kind of dark, so. Channel Mako got 70 HP and wait, did it say it's basic? That's a that's a flat out lie. <laughs> China Mako is the evolved form of Chingling. This is a flat out lie. It's not a basic. <laughs> it's a flat out lie. <laughs> I find that funny. It's a flat out line. Lie. China Mako. China Mako. Evolves from Chingling. My god. Where? Here's the rest of that card. I hope you guys can read that. <laughs> Damn tiny text. <laughs> Look at the tiny toilet for the little tiny Venus. Ah! Curse you, tiny toilet! If you don't get what I was referencing, it was Despicable Me, the first one where. Vector was testing out the shrink ray. We got Bunnel B next up. Does that say Mudshot? Yeah, it's Mudshot, okay. Uh, next is Carablast. Boink, is this, is this a shiny? I don't know, I can't tell if it's shiny or not. I'm not sure what a shiny Spoink looks like. And it's like a really bright picture. I'm not sure if it's shiny or not. Then we have Salandit. One of the better poison type Pokemon, cause corrosion. You can actually poison steel types with this. Even better when it's a Salazzle. I kind of missed the event Salazzle. So, yeah. ooh, we got another Altaria, but this one's a holographic. 
the face on this card. So when I was looking at it in this in my hand, <laughs> a reflect a holographic Altaria. It actually looks really cool. I think I found my new favorite dragon type. <laughs> Maybe flying type actually. And then the face on Wigglytuff. Look at that face. <laughs> Jigglypuff is not uh Wigglytuff is not amused. Wigglytuff is not amused. And wait a minute, why is it saying stage one? It's a stage two, because Igglybuff evolves into Jigglypuff, then Wigglytuff. Oh my god. These cards are making me... I'm getting triggered by these cards. This false... False information. Get your shit straight, Nintendo. Or Game Freak. Um... Creatures and whatever. Uh, we got another psychic energy. We got a mill tank. <clears throat> just one hundred is probably going to like hate all of my hate. <laughs> when he was a when he was one of those frustrating gym leaders, most frustrating gym leader. Next to Claire, I would say, I, I guess. Maybe Chuck as well, because though he only has two Pokemon, those are pretty OP. His Primeape and... His Primeape and... Polyrath. And we got another... Another energy counter. And we have the Sea of Nothingness, also known as Ultra Space. You can tell that that's def that's just Ultra Space. If I can uh, get the camera out of there, you can see that is Ultra Space from Sun and Moon. Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon Two, I'm guessing. <clears throat> Uh, so special conditions are not removed when Pokemon, well, be using your opponents, evolve or devolve. You can devolve your Pokemon in the card game? Where have I been? Oh, yeah, I've been here recording videos. <laughs> Damn it, I have no social life. <laughs> I gotta get out of the house. I do nothing but eat, sleep, and record videos. And pet my cat. So that's that of the that's all the Crimson Invasion cards pa card packs. Now time for the Burning Shadows. So first of all, I'll be opening up. Actually, I think I'm not, I'm not sure if I should save the Marsh Shadow pack for last or the Necrozma one for last. I might do Necrozma for last because of. Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, because there's Ultra Necrozma. So, first off, I'm doing the Ho -Oh pack. Here you go, Logan. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have said his name on. This place. I, just, I do love the prank he pulled on Wednesday one day. Just. <laughs> I'll explain at the end of the video. Or if I remember. Hopefully I will. I may forget and record another episode later. Okay, so. If I can put this around. We got a. Another mud gray. Wow, oh, it's the cards are really getting darker. That damn lighting. I should probably do this in the light. Yeah, I think I'll do this. So I'll just uh, pause here, and I'll get into the light. Okay, dokie. Now I'm more in the light. Here's that mud gray again. 
Oh yeah, that's much better. Uh, we have Oddish, once again. <clears throat> oh my god. Oh my god. I friggin' hate this. The Skull doing the dab. The Skull is fucking dabbing. I hate dabbing. I don't dab and I hate dabbing. We got Esper. I'm still getting triggered at some of these cards. My camera is sliding, I am just noticing that. I'm doing good! Yeah, it's just my mom's friend <laughs> asking how the hell I was doing. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't want to be mean. I ignore her. She's a, she's a good friend. My mom's. Uh, we got Mo uh, Moral. Yeah, Moral. I can see the phone is still sliding. What the hell is that? Maybe I gotta pause again and get my my. Whoops! I just realized my phone is not in its case, so I gotta pause here again. All right, that should uh, that should fix that. <clears throat> so you, yeah, we left off on Marvel. Um, then we got a holographic knock towel. Bruxish. The I think what this is the first water psychic type there is. I believe this was the first ever. Water psychic type. Yeah. Hey, my first ever fairy energy card. That was. That thing was. My mother dropping my brother's instrument. Uh, then we <laughs> then we got Po Town, the base of. Team Skull and Alola. So where, whenever any player plays a Pokemon from their hand to evolve one of their Pokemon, put three damage counters on that Pokemon. Oh, that's, that'll do very, very handy. That'll do very much. That'll do very, very well. Very well in the Pokemon battle. Uh, then we got the Rotom Dex, Pokefinder mode. So, yeah. So, look at the top four cards of your deck and put them back in any order or shuffle them into your deck. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, it is in Pokefinder mode because <laughs> you can see there's a Pikachu inside the screen. That's a Pikachu. If it's, if it's too blurry, it's a Pikachu. <laughs> I swear that's a Pikachu. Just because it's yellow doesn't mean it's just a Pikachu. No, I can actually see a Pikachu in there. <clears throat> and then, out of that pack, there... The, uh, I can't speak. The last card in that pack is a Semipore. Is that the Aqua Reflect? Huh. Okay. I can't really read the cards, because... When I'm looking at the screen, it's in reverse. So, it's usually what happens like that. So, next is the Marshadow pack. There you go, Pie Lord.
So first up in that pack is a regular old Meowth. <clears throat> Sorry guys, I'm just trying to tackle a minor cold, I guess. And it's just it's just my throat mostly. Uh then we got Stuffle. I would think Beware is like the uh, Alolan version of Snorlax with the HP and defense. Oh, wow. Uh, we got a... I got a Pants Age. Don't know why I'm saying we. These are my cards. <laughs> you guys don't, don't own these cards. I bought them with my own tickets. 3,300 3, tickets gets you six packs at a... Got a bowling alley near nearby, near where I live. Oh, <laughs> now there's Crow Gunk just shining, shining a salute to the American race. Oh, American Dad! I wish I could watch TV. I can't because I have a, I don't have a cable box anymore. Oh, this is actually a pretty good. Oh, no, that Crow Gunk almost fell off the desk. Um, this Pikachu card is really cool looking. I like that Pikachu. That is awesome. So a Thundershock and Tail, Tail Whack, is it Tail Whack? Tail Whap? Whap? That's a word. I'm gonna have to Google that. <laughs> tail Whap. That's not it. I don't think that's a word. <laughs> I mean, I know I failed English, but I'm pretty sure that's not a word. Tail whap. <laughs> it doesn't sound like one. And then we got... Ah, oh. Cramp in my right hand. I blame the candle pin bowling from last night. Um, then we got a holographic simisage. <clears throat> And we got a, another revert, no, I'm not sure if this is a, I can't tell if it's like a reverse, I don't, I don't know which is a reverse or which is not, but this is another holographic card. Oh, my wrist is fucking killing me. So we got a Raichu, with a Krogunk in the background. Oh wait, that, oh that's Volt Tackle, nice. It does 30 damage to itself. Well, of course, recoil. And then the ability Evo Shock. When, a, when you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may leave your opponent's active Pokemon paralyzed. Ooh, that can, uh, that'll do well. And that's pretty good. Hey, what do you know? My second fairy energy card. Then we got a Tormenting Spray with Team Skull's logo on it. <clears throat> so, uh, choose a random card from your opponent's hand. Your opponent reveals that card. If it's a supporter card, discard it. Huh. There's like a, it's quite the chance to, it's literally a game of chance when you're trying to look for that, uh, that supporter card. Another Simisage. And then another Curlia. Just heard my cat scamper, th scamper from outside my door. And last but not least, I gotta. Let's do that.
Now the Necrozma pack for Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Another card for Pi Lord. <laughs> Alright. Ooh. Oh, I haven't had that card in so long. Hey, what do you know? It's another one of those. I got another one of those Pikachu cards, so I might as well get rid of that one first. Get rid of? Why would I get rid of a Pikachu? I love Pikachu. Pikachu is my partner. And the fanfics, which I like to bring my Pokemon fanfic team into my Sun and Moon team, which I actually have. Krogunk, once again, shining a salute to the USA. Or to the American race, whatever. Same thing, I guess. <clears throat> hey, look, we got a Panpour. We just don't have the, the we don't have Panseer or Simaseer yet, and I don't think it's in this deck or hand, whatever. Yeah, I'm facing them the wrong way. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, guys. I really need water. There's no water over there. I don't think I can go get it. Right now, I have my water. <coughs> kind of choked on that. I hate choking on my own water. Alright, back to the cards. Back to the heart of the cards. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, next we have Cutie Fly, which I find in my Pokemon Sun really helpful with Pollen Puff and Le Leech. No, wait. Leech Life. Yeah. Which used to do 20 damage, now it does freaking 80! And it's a TM now. So, that's a thing now. <laughs> Never mind. I just, uh. I, I said we weren't. I didn't think there was a pantsier in here. <laughs> there it is. <clears throat> kind of a useless card. And that is a terrible drawing. Over the terrible drawing, but terrible artwork. It just does not look appealing. Look at that drawing. That just doesn't look good. I'm sorry for whoever had to draw that. Or make that. It looks like it was like a cookie. Like a, It looks like, like a 2D cookie. 2D cookie. When has there ever been like a 3D cookie? Or wonders that had ever been a 2D cookie. I mean, like, I mean, like one of those flat ones, like gingerbread men. <clears throat> God damn it! I'm starting to hate my throat. I got another tormenting spray. <clears throat> my favorite rock type, I'd say. Rhyperior. Actually, one. I think my favorite rock type would. No, would, actually, I could just say no. My favorite electric type would have to be Pikachu, though. Oh well. I was gonna say my favorite electric type was Pikachu, and my favorite rock type would have to be the Alolan Golem. We got a Fighting Energy. Ooh. We have Electabuzz. Again, it's not a basic. Unless well, it's counting going by the Kanto. Well, this is going by like it's Kanto. It evolves from Electab Elekid. Yes, Electabuzz evolves from Electabuzz. Oh my god. I am starting to get a little triggered. But I guess you shouldn't really be triggered. I mean, I'm just stating the facts, but I guess they want to make it easier to win 
Pokemon battles in, in, the, in the card game. So they make Evolve for like stage one Pokemon basic. They want to make the damn stage one cards basic now. <clears throat> Alright. Another Lana card. It does say heal 50 or heal 20. Heal 50 damage from each of your Pokemon that has any energy card. Ten, any any water type energy card attached to it. Interesting. And then another Metapod. There we go. And that's all for that unboxing. And now I have a whole deck. Maybe more. I probably have 70 cards here. <clears throat> I have like another Pokemon deck in one of my boxes up there. Like, give me a second, I'll uh. It's in the. Uh... Oh, I guess I'll bring this one down too. Mm. That's how Gamer gave me his deck box because he had magic cards in here and a whole deck of Pokemon cards and when he went to the round table games and Carver. And then this was my first Magic the, the Gather Magic the Gathering deck. I managed to beat him on my first try. I uh, managed to beat Devin, um, actually, my first two or three tries. <laughs> I was a noob at this. Devin was a beginner, I was a noob. And I still managed to beat him. So, yay, white and green deck. While the deck Devin gave me that I beat him with is in here. Red and blue. And the other decks he has that... He might give away. <clears throat> he says he's not into magic, so he's probably going to give them away one day. I don't know. One of them is a... I want to say... Yeah, black and blue and blue and black. Black and blue and blue and black. I believe those are the ones he has. But whatever. This has been Tim Circuit Tim, and I hope you guys stayed with me through this entire unboxing. Um... I'll see you guys in the next episode, whatever it's going to be. Uh, later I'll try to keep my promise to record another video, because I've been, I've been cutting slack, I've been screwing up with my schedule. So, yeah. I'll try to bring an episode of Sonic Adventure DX, Director's Cut out. Uh, I might record it now, actually, just so I can get it over with. Uh, but of course this one's going up before the Sonic Adventure, because I do things like that. Or I guess I could upload them at the same time. Yeah, I could always do that. But yeah, this is Tim Circuit Tim, and I hope to see you guys in whatever it's going to be. Till then, ciao.